Hi, I'm Lance Lucero, Product Manager of Astronomy for Celestron, and I'm here to tell you about the Great Planet Parade coming up later this month from around February 20th through about March 6th, peaking on the night of February 28th. What is a planetary parade? Simply put, it's when several of the planets are visible in the night sky at the same time. This one is special because all seven of the solar system's planets are visible and taking part in this parade. While Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn are usually visible to the naked eye, Uranus and Neptune are not, and will require some optical aid such as a binocular or a small telescope. These two planets resemble stars in most small instruments, but really stand out due to their bluish and greenish colors. Depending on the evening that you're viewing, the planets will be in this order from lowest to highest, starting with Mercury, Saturn, Neptune, Venus, Uranus, Jupiter, and Mars. After February 24th, Mercury and Saturn will switch places, with Mercury climbing higher into the sky each night, while Saturn will descend each night, making its final turn behind the Sun. After February 28th, Saturn becomes very difficult to find because it starts getting lost in the Sun's glare, so you'll want to get out there before February 28th to ensure that you see it. Please note that not all planets may be visible from your location on any given night during this event. The angle of the ecliptic, that narrow path that the planets take across the sky, can change depending on the latitude of your observing location, and Saturn or Mercury might already be below your local horizon by the time the sun sets. You're going to want to set up at a place with a flat, clear western horizon and begin searching at sunset. You want to start with the lowest planets first, as they're going to be the first ones to set. Mercury and Saturn are normally bright planets and are easily seen, but they're going to be a little trickier to find in the brightly lit sky immediately after sunset. I would recommend the use of binoculars to help you find them. Next, try for Neptune. For this, I recommend a small wide field telescope or any size binocular to help you find. Because Mercury, Saturn, and Neptune are so low in the western sky, please, please make sure that the Sun is fully below the horizon before trying to locate the planets. You don't want to risk the potential of catching direct sunlight in your optics and accidentally blinding yourself. Once you've crossed these three planets off your list, move on up to Venus, which should be very obvious. It's the brightest object in the sky other than the Sun and the Moon. A telescope is going to show its thin crescent phase, which is odd when you see how bright the planet appears to the naked eye. Next up is Uranus. Uranus, like Neptune, is going to require optical aid to see, but should be easier to find as it's higher in the sky above most of the glow of the setting sun. Plus, it's high enough that you can let twilight deepen and let the sky darken with no danger of having the planet set on you. Search using binoculars or a small telescope. Again, look for the vividly colored star. If you're using a mid to large size telescope, you might even be able to resolve the planet's disk. Now look overhead, almost at the zenith, and find bright Jupiter, a gem in any size telescope with its cloud bands and its four bright moons. Next, turn around and look high in the east for the bright reddish Mars. It's just reached opposition in January, so it's a good time to start looking for surface details or maybe the polar ice cap. To finish off your planetary parade, I invite you to look down at the ground beneath your feet. It may feel solid and unmoving, but take a moment to realize that Earth is also a planet that orbits the Sun. The eighth planet in our planet parade. Congratulations! You have now completed your list and probably didn't even take an hour to do it. Oh, and before I forget, those of you who are wondering about Pluto, well, he's unfortunately not part of this parade has nothing to do with his planetary status. He's just an early riser rising above the eastern horizon about an hour before the sun does. So plan on getting your friends and family together and show them this parade of planets. While there will be a few more alignments of five or six planets over the next two years, having all seven of them will not occur for at least another decade. So enjoy it while you can. On behalf of Celestron, I'm wishing you clear skies and thanks for watching.